B2B content marketing is one of the best ways for a B2B brand to get closer to achieving its true potential as it relates to driving revenue, leads, impressions, awareness, and success as it relates to its marketing goals. B2B is business to business. If you are selling anything, a service or a product to businesses, then you are in the B2B industry. For example, an organization that sells software, an organization that sells law advice, an organization that sells janitorial services to other businesses would be considered B2B. If you are selling something that's like sneakers to individuals, that is more B2C, also known as business to consumer. And in this video, we're focusing on how you can leverage B2B content marketing to drive meaningful and measurable results for your business. B2B content marketing is the activities and the actions and the strategies and the techniques that a B2B brand would embrace to influence an organization and the decision makers within it to get closer to making a transaction to purchase and acquire and connect with and work with their business. In most corners of the internet, people consider B2B marketing to be a bit of a drag. <sighs> Uh, but it's not. B2B marketing does not need to be a snore fest. It doesn't need to put anyone to sleep. You're watching How Content Works, a content marketing series brought to you by SEMrush. And in this video in particular, I'm going to guarantee you that you will learn how to ensure that the content marketing efforts that you're embracing as a B2B brand are not boring. The first thing that you need to do as a B2B brand is understand the difference between selling to businesses and selling to consumers. If you are selling to a consumer, it's very easy for that transaction to happen in a matter of seconds. For example, I was at the grocery store yesterday, I saw this new bag of chips, I bought it within seconds. I didn't go through a complex thinking exercise, I just put them in my cart and bought them. It was that simple. In B2B, however, you need to go through a little bit more motions. If I'm buying janitorial services, I I want to know a quote from multiple people within the region. This is how businesses think. They want to understand if the quality and the price is going to differ from one organization to the next. They want to get a demo or a rundown on your software. They have more questions and they might even need to bring in other decision makers and peers and colleagues to help influence and decide whether or not your business is right for them. With all of this complexity, content marketing can be the MVP, most most valuable player as it relates to your sales engine if you can create the right content. So how do you create the right content? The first step is to understand your audience. What types of content assets would help them in making a decision that is closely aligned to your actual offering? Once you understand the most frequently asked questions, once you understand the problems that are typically trying to be solved when they engage you, this is a great starting point to help you map out the content ideas that you should be embracing. And if you're just getting started with content marketing overall, there's a content marketing marketing playbook that is in the link below that I would strongly recommend that you check out free from SEMrush. But before you check that out, let's dive into some content marketing tips that you should embrace if you are in B2B. There are seven simple techniques that I believe every brand that is in B2B should at least consider as a potential opportunity for them to create content that can resonate with their audience and drive results for their business. The first idea is simple, SEO also known as search engine optimization. This is the act of creating content, landing pages, blog posts, YouTube videos, etc., and ensuring that all of these pieces of content are optimized for the phrases that your audience is likely to type in to Google. You want to create content that answers questions that your audience would have as they're making that decision of whether or not they should purchase from you or a competitor. What type of content are they trying to type into Google when they're just learning a little bit more about this solution at large. These are the things that you want to know. And these are the things that if you embrace SEO, you should be answering through content. If you're very new to the wonderful world of SEO and you're looking for a great place to check out and learn a little bit more about this, I'd encourage you to check out the SEMrush blog. It is filled with resources and assets that can help you level up your education on SEO. The second type of content that you should be thinking about is sales enablement content. Sales enablement content are pieces of content that will allow you to facilitate and nurture a relationship and a dialogue with a prospect once they've demonstrated interest in what you're offering. If 
someone comes to my business and they're interested in learning a little bit more about janitorial services, I want to be equipped with one pagers, case studies, testimonials, videos, tutorials, and things that will help them understand the things that we do. Arming your sales team, arming yourself with this type of content can increase your ability to go from contact to close. The third content marketing idea is taking off and it is podcasts. Podcasts are all the rage. I strongly encourage you to just go to Apple or to Spotify and type in a keyword or two that is relevant to your industry. You might find that there are a ton of podcasts already in your space. What does that mean for you? Maybe you want to collaborate with some of these podcasters, or if nothing shows up, maybe you want to be the early innovator and an early adopter to this platform and create the first podcast dedicated to your niche. One of my favorite techniques that I've seen in B2B with podcasting is to actually invite your ideal customers to your podcast to talk about their business and position it as an authoritative place where your customers can learn from other people in their space. And what you're actually doing along the way is you're essentially building relationships with people that you want to sell to at the same time. The fourth technique is blogging. A lot of people think that blogging is old school and that blogging is dead, but it has never been alive like it is today. The shift is it's essentially just creating content. When you are writing content, whether it's called an article, an essay, you name it, it's all still relevant. Newsletters are essentially blogs that just go into your inbox. So what people need to recognize is that in B2B, writing a public blog can give you an opportunity to connect closer with your audience, especially if you're creating blog posts that are rooted in keywords that your audience is typing into Google or covering topics that they are likely to share on social media. Speaking of social media, that's my next recommendation. Embrace social media. Your audience is likely spending time on these channels, so be there and be present. Create content that's gonna educate them, engage them, and entertain them. If you can create these types of stories, your following on these platforms will rise and your engagement will increase to a point where you might even see more leads, more business, and more prospects knocking on your door. The sixth technique that I believe you should embrace is communities. There are a ton of communities on the internet, whether you're talking about private LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups, Slack groups, Discord channels, etc. These are places is where your audience might be spending time. Can you join these communities, join these spaces, add value to the people who are there, who are also your ideal customer, and ultimately elevate your brand even further? And then the final recommendation for B2B content marketing is video. Embrace video. Use video to tell your story. Get the word out there about what you do and what you offer. Create content that shows people how to do certain things that are relevant to their industry and relevant to their career, their growth, their path as a professional. If you you can create this content and you can deliver it over video, you can unlock amazing returns. Why? Because video is taking off. Whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on LinkedIn, TikTok, you name it, people want video content. So if you can create video content that serves your customers, those customers will learn more about you and ultimately your offering. I want to leave you with three simple tips that you should keep in mind no matter what technique you actually embrace as a B2B content marketing tactic. Those tips are one, embrace the three E's. Two, ensure that you have a content calendar, and three, ensure that you are distributing your content and not allowing it to collect dust. Let me describe each of these in detail. When it comes to the three E's, it's a philosophy around you need to create content that educates people, engages them, or entertains them. No matter if it's a piece that is intended to rank in Google, when somebody goes to Google and they type in how to hire a janitorial service, you want to create content that is going to educate them and provide them with value. When you're sharing a post on LinkedIn, you want to provide people content that's going to strike up a conversation and engage them. And if you're sharing something on Instagram that is for your audience, maybe you want to entertain them. You want to create content that falls into these categories to build that connection. The other thing that you don't want to do is just frantically watch this video and think, I need to do all of the things. 
Take a break, take a pause, and use a content calendar. SEMrush offers a great calendar tool that I have linked below that you could also embrace as a part of your content marketing mix to ensure that not every single day you're frantically trying to figure out what you should say, what you should post, what you should share, but instead you have clarity on when things are going live and how they will show up in the market. And my final technique and recommendation is to ensure that you're distributing your content. You have to ensure that you are reaching as many people as possible with your stories as it relates to B2B. And don't be afraid to get creative. You can take one blog post and turn that into a series of different tweets. You can take those tweets and turn them into a carousel on LinkedIn. Don't be afraid to remix and reuse your content that you've developed in the past and get creative with it. You might not have a budget to do something like this, but Gong, a B2B business, actually bought a Super Bowl ad where they brought to life this world of gongs in the office. It was hilarious, it was creative, and they used the Super Bowl ads as a way to distribute their story. Again, you might not have that type of budget, that's okay, but you can reach similar level scale if you get creative with the ways in which you are telling your story. But it all starts with research. Make sure that you are taking the time to understand your audience, understand the problems that they have, use tools like SEMrush to understand the keywords that they're typing into Google, use tools to better understand their social media behaviors and the things that they're saying online, and use good old fashioned Google to better understand the problems that they're talking about within communities that they are spending time in. Once you have a deep understanding of your audience, it becomes easy to serve them with great content. So ensure that you start this process with research and then move full speed ahead to disrupt this idea that B2B content marketing needs to be boring. It does not. And I hope in this video you have learned a few techniques, a few tips, a few tricks that you can apply to elevate your content marketing engine as a B2B brand. Thank you so much for listening. As mentioned, this series was brought to you by SEMrush. I hope you got a ton of value out of it today. And if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to drop a question in the comment. Thank you so much and have an amazing day or evening.